in the sleeping town of Johnson Will, uh, in the sleeping town of Johnson Will, there has been some mysterious, um, mysterious reports of a serial killer of a live and a rare man. Hello, I am Mia Lovegood. We are looking at all the suspects in our town to see if they've got any suspicions. If you have any suspicions or have any questions, please give us a call. Thank you. Well, hello, Mr. Butcher. Hello, Mr. Uh, Mrs. Mayor. The murders. Yes, I, 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 I don't want to say it. Just I, I don't want to be next. Yes. I don't suspect you. You're just, you're just way too nice. Yeah. I mean, of course you're not the murderer. Yeah. Can I have two steaks, please? Oh yes, you may actually. Freshly cut. Thank you. Have a good day. You did. I Oh, come in. Uh, you need your um steaks that you ordered, Mr. Harrison. We now had news for another murder. Henry Stone has been killed in his fight. And now. Scientist Frank has been dead in his home. <gasps> Cut to the mayor's office. Hello, I'm Mayor Lovegood, and we sure will find the serial killer. We've just had two more murders, but we're working day and night, so don't worry. Thank you. Hello, would you like to meet today? Um, sure. Which one? Um, steak, I guess. Would you like a rare, medium rare, ultra rare, and that extremely rare? What do you mean, space? Okay, here you go. Medium rare. Thank you. Have a lovely day. Enjoy your classrooms. I want my things. Tiddly news. Weirdo. Goodbye. He's a little too friendly. I'm just going to call that detective. I'll be just bring, 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 bring. Hello, it's Detective Sherlock Holmes here. It's Mrs. Hardman. I'm a teacher at the school, and I just think this guy is really suspicious. Like, he's way too nice and kind. And it's. Oh, what's his name? I think it was like. Hello? 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 Is anyone there? Mrs. Hardman? Miss? Miss? Oh well, okay. Um, mm. She was... I could only hear the first letter of the name. It started... sounded like a K, so maybe I should go um, track her phone and see where she is. Okay, let's go. He did say something about a little too nice. Who in the town is little too nice? Um, it's... Oh dear, she's dead. That means the person who uh, murdered her must have been the serial killer hearing her. He must have killed that person at the right time. Hmm. Oh, I can use your phone see where she's been today and maybe if there was an, a little extra of that 
pulled but that I didn't hear from this chick. Okay, let's see. So, today she's been to the city council. Hmm, that makes sense, because the mayor is pretty nice. And no one would suspect that she would be the m murderer because she's the mayor. mayor. Hmm. Also, it looks like in her payments, she paid the butcher for the me meat. Um, and that makes a lot of sense because the butcher is really nice. I've been there and their, his food is pretty nice and he's nice as a person. So, I think I should keep this phone for evidence. Let's go back. Hello, Mrs. Mayor. Uh, I would like to interrogate you with some questions. Yes. There has been a recent murder of a teacher called M Mrs. M Madden. Um, oh yes, I know her, Mrs. Harvey. Yeah, Mrs. Harvey. Sorry. Um, so uh, I have got this evidence that she's been to the city council recently. Um, on my phone and she's made a payment to the butcher. Um, have you been to her house recently or been to their their uh, um, school? No, not at all. How do I know that you're not lying? Well, I've been here all day. Can I see your phone please and I see where you've been? Sure. Let me just go this Thank you. And what did she say about the she, suspect? So she said that the suspect was a little too nice, and you're pretty nice. But my second sub suspect is a butcher. He's a little too nice, and he might be the one. Yes, I think he yeah. might be the one. Uh, it says that you've been here all day, so you're in check. So maybe do you want to go to go to interrogate the butcher? Yes. Okay. Hello. Hello. How may I help you? Um, we what just came here for some interrogation. We think that you are the murderer. For what? For all the murders? No way. I, I swear it's not. Well, really. Do you smell something? Yeah. It yeah. smells really oh, bad. No, no, no. These people. Yeah. Yeah. May we uh, enter? Mm. Okay. They're just resting for the night. Like. No, this is Miss oh, Hardman. Miss Hardman. That's the oh, scientist. That's the scientist. And, and that's the engineer. You so you are the murderer. You are the murderer. And what's this? Human me. Human me. You are under arrest for murder. That's it. That's fine. Um, we need to close this down. Yeah. <clears throat> Johnson has, uh, has been it's, uh, the Johnson series uh, series has been solved. Killed. Killed. Killed has been solved. Killed of the detective Sherlock Holmes, Mayor Lovell. Tell me, detective Sherlock, how did you solve it? Right. Well, so uh, it's all thanks to Miss Hardman, who has sadly passed away, to the mean butcher who we once thought was nice. She was got, was calling me, and she had a suspicion that uh, there was someone a little too nice. But then his first suspicion was me, Miss Mayor. And then his, her second suspicion was uh, uh, the butcher, which she didn't say on the phone because uh, sadly the butcher came in and killed her. So I thought I should go to should check her phone for her records. And she had been in the city, city, city council and the butcher shop. Well, anyways, we found him with the dead bodies. And I, I, I have to admit, he was a little too good for us. He was too he nice. Was just a little too nice. Very unexpected. My name is Chris and there you have it.